See you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Guys, it's time for another adventure, and this time I'm traveling alone, and that's quite scary because this is my first time traveling alone. This time, I am going to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. What? So here's a fact: I was born in Dubai. I haven't been back there in about 14 years. So yeah, it's quite exciting for me to go back there. I'm gonna be spending there for a week, a week in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. I don't know what to expect, but um, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait. I can't wait. I've had a lot of time to think while I'm sat down here waiting to board. The last time I was here, I was on the way to Philippines. During that time, I departed from gate 10 and this time I'm departing from gate 10. Different destination, same departure gate. At that time I was traveling with my brother, obviously now I'm traveling on my own. But anyway, I'm there to see my auntie. My uncle and my cousin, they're, they're all there. I, I've got good company, but um, in terms of like adventuring and all that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? This is a big announcement for falling guests traveling on a day out there. This is hard talking over this time. I'm okay. gonna... Morris. So as I was saying, in terms of like going around and looking for places, I, I think this is like the least prepared I've been to go to a place because I've not really thought about where I want to go. I've thought about some places where I want to go but in terms of staying the week over there I haven't booked anything, I haven't done a lot of preparation but um, for those who know me I'm a very spontaneous guy. Most of the things that I do is spontaneous like on the day, maybe on the day I'll say I want to do this. Yeah we'll see how it goes but I'll try to you know different country so I'm definitely gonna enjoy myself. in the morning and it's, it took about I don't know I don't know how long that took one thing I'd say is if you're gonna ride a flight is do not sit at the back of the plane because then you'll be last which was the case for me I was last right after this moment I didn't shoot any more footage as I felt really tired it was 1 a.m. in the morning and all I can think of is go to sleep so I went to sleep and I woke up at 9 a.m. so from now we continue what's going on guys it's another well it's not really another day it's just the morning of today I've arrived today and it's the morning already I fell asleep which is why I couldn't really show you anything now I'm gonna go see my auntie so um, and then after that I'll show you what's around here in Abu Dhabi such a lovely morning here in Abu Dhabi I tell you that and let's see where it goes wow everybody's talking about the good old days So I managed to get myself a SIM card. It's from Du, D-U. There's two networks, Etisalat and Du. Um, I did a little bit of research. It says he's more into tourists and all that. It's entirely up to you. We're going around. I went by Etisalat. Hello. We're gonna see this um, newly opened Filipino restaurant. Little Manila. Little Manila. Filipinos everywhere here. Honestly. Right now I'm just walking. I'm actually gonna go to my hotel. I've actually unpacked my stuff already and I'm going to my hotel. I'm gonna show you what the hotel is because it looks really amazing from what I've seen. I've just, well, I've just been to um, get some to eat. Little Manila, I think I'm gonna go back and give you guys a little bit more info about it because I literally just went in there because I was so hungry and just ate 
So, um, yeah, I'll catch you soon. I'm gonna show you this hotel. Is where I'm staying at. This is called the One to One Village Hotel here in Abu Dhabi. Have hair salons, flower shops. One eternity later. seen many incredible architecture as this. I mean, this just looks amazing. Um, if you're ever here in Abu Dhabi, definitely check this out. Because that looks incredible. This is amazing. Chandelier made of gold from Italy apparently. Carpet made in Iran. 1200 women came here for two years every day knitting it by hand. It's not only one chandelier, there's two chandeliers. I mean, look at this place. The top bit is from Italy too. Apparently this place costs 800 billion dollars. That's a lot of money. But you know what? This place is just incredible. I'm amazed. I'm really amazed. <laughs> 